Dr. Romano to do a reaction on, with the alkynes. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man, the Death Destroyer books. I want to go over some reactions of the alkynes real quick. This is a quick, easy tape, and I want you to make sure you can go over this and you can hit these at lightning speed. So come on over and let's have a look. Now, what I gave you is I gave you a molecule called propine, and I want to do a few things, A, B, C, D, and E. Now, in the first step, it says Na, NH2, and ammonia. All that's going to do is to remove off the acidic proton, and then step two, we do a simple SN2 attack. So when we remove off the, the first proton here, we're going to end up getting this. And then this simply attacks and captures the methyl. So putting that all together, you would simply get for A, this molecule here. So we've just added on the CH3 group. I think that's straightforward. So we built on an R group. From A to B, we're going to take A and we're going to treat it with hydrogen and Linlaw's catalyst. What hydrogen and Linlaw's catalyst is going to do is add two H's from the same side. And then this would be on the same side as well. And we would end up with the cis alkene. And it stops after only one addition of hydrogen mole is added. If you go back to A and you did it with sodium or lithium or potassium and ammonia, you would end up by a radical mechanism that we don't need to get into, but understand that this reagent puts the two OHs opposite each other or trans. So we end up with this in the trans position. Okay, so as you can see, these two reactions are said to be stereospecific because they give you one stereoisomer in exclusivity. This would be the cis stereoisomer and this would be the trans. Don't forget if I ever ask you what's the relationship between cis and trans, the diastereomers. The last part. NaNH2 again, ammonia, CH3, IDMF gives you the same compound. So letter D is the same thing as we just did. So let's write it here. Now, I know what you're all thinking. What the hell is RuO4? It's not in any of the undergraduate books. You'll probably never see it in your entire life. But since this was so easy, I might as well put one question in here just to shake you all up and then end up destroying everybody. This compound is called ruthenium tetroxide. And what it does, it's an oxidizing agent. And watch what you get. Oh boy, is that weird. So as you can see, it ends up giving me a diketone. So if you ever want to get an, a diketone from an alkyne that's internal, all you would do is treat it with this oxidizing agent and you are home. I don't think you'll see that in the dad, but all the rest of this is a sure bet. But this is just to shake it up a little bit if you ever wanted to see a really cool reaction that no one else will know. It's such a rare reaction. Try it on your professor and see what he says. And then let me know. All right. I hope this helps. I will see you in Facebook study group. Bye-bye.